June 5th God's say so He hath said, so that we may boldly say Hebrews 13 verses 5 through 6 My say so is to be built on God's say so. God says, I will never leave thee. Then I can with good courage say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. I will not be haunted by apprehension. This does not mean that I will not be tempted to fear, but I will remember God say so. I will be full of courage like a child bucking himself up to reach the standard his father wants. Faith in many a one falters when the apprehensions come. They forget the meaning of God say so, forget to take a deep breath spiritually. The only way to get the dread taken out of us is to listen to God's say so. What are you dreading? You are not a coward about it. You are going to face it, but there is a feeling of dread. When there is nothing and no one to help you, say, but the Lord is my helper, this second, in my present outlook. Are you looking to say things after listening to God, or are you saying things and trying to make God's word fit in? Get hold of the Father's say so, and then, with good courage, I will not fear. It does not matter what evil or wrong may be in the way. He has said, I will never leave thee. Frailty is another thing that gets in between God's say so and ours. When we realize how feeble we are in facing difficulties, the difficulties become like giants, and we become like grasshoppers, and God becomes a non entity. Remember God's say so. I will in no ways fail you. Have we learned to sing after hearing God's keynote? Are we always possessed with the courage to say, The Lord is my helper? Or are we succumbing?